Matt Glossick with C3 Power Sports. Today we're going to be uh, in the midst of this snow bike conversion. We're going to be putting in C3's high risers and fixed bushing kit into a 2016 KTM 450. So first things first, we got to remove our bars so we can get at the lower bar clamp mounts. Once you have your bars removed, you use the C3 provided T45 Torx wrench to stick into your bar onto the top and a 17 mil ratchet or wrench for the bottom side to loosen her up. So remove both bolts in your lower mount. It should just pop right up. Next we're going to have to pull these bushings out of here. In order to push the bushing out of the top triple clamp, just thread in a bolt, a couple threads, and just press straight down. It should push out with relative ease. So, pull these bushings off, and then our new solid mount C3 bushings will go right over top. Once you got it all cleaned up and ready to reinstall, um, C3's provide us our tall clamp here. You can go for a more forward offset, or myself, a more rearward. So, pushing on the bottom, pushing in the hole, up through the bottom, with that same bolt that we removed, a little lubrication on there, and install. For final fit and torque, uh, KTM recommends 29 foot-pounds of torque. So I'll stick your torque bit in and grab your torque wrench and give her a 29 foot-pound. With the beep. It's a little difficult to hold, just uh, use a box in there and give you a little support and hip in. There you are. Um, I, I also installed my Old handlebars just loosely here just to align this. Uh, next we're going to be pairing up our uh, new high bars with the uh, C3 one piece, um, one piece top clamp and uh, force field hand guards, or force field wrap around hand guards and our uh, new uh, center flow design cooling heated bars. This should be pretty cool when she's all done. When we're installing our C3 one piece top clamp we, uh, you'll notice that we have oblong holes here. Um, that's to ensure that this is more of a universal part where it'll fit other applications other than just a KTM. Um, you'll notice that in, down in the hole there, there's a bit of an oblong, another oblong hole for your bolt. Um, what you need to do is insert this little black uh, spacer that will take up the space and line it up with your hole. There, a few ways in which you can kind of rotate this and get it so it'll line up perfectly. If you've figured out the alignment, just kind of try to put it in as squarely as possible. It's a pretty tight fit, but it should just drop in when you get it lined up quite nicely and square. There. And then now just screw in your bolt like you would any other top clamp. Just ensure when you're screwing it in that uh, both gaps on the front and the back are as close to even as possible to get a nice even pinch on your bars. Um, once you get that tightened down, it's, uh, it's off to the races. Time to start riding, have fun.